here we are looking at skunk cabbage and this plant you might possibly smell before you see. If you come upon it in flower, it kind of smells like skunks. Uh, I really love the Canadian name for it though. They call it swamp lantern and that's because of the really cool flowers. They're in their height bright yellow and these yellow bracts surround a spike but they just kind of glow in the undergrowth. This plant grows in swampy, mucky ground, and you might find it under alders or conifers, but if it's too heavily shaded, it doesn't flower. It has really bright green waxy leaves, and they're oval-shaped and huge. They grow in clusters. Now, skunk cabbage was not highly prized as a food source. It was mainly used as a famine food in spring if you really had nothing else to eat. It contains sharp crystals of something called calcium oxalate. So if you put any part of this plant in your mouth raw, it causes intense irritation. But indigenous people dealt with this by prolonged cooking and storage, which eliminated these crystals. But the leaves were really useful to native peoples. They used them kind of like we might use wax paper. Uh, so they used them to line berry baskets and berry drying racks, and they also used them to line cooking pits. And I had the opportunity once with a wild food class in college to try this out. So we lined a pit with skunk cabbage leaves, and we put in potatoes and carrots, and then we covered it over and put a fire on top, and by the time it cooked down, we had cooked vegetables. Pretty fun.